From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Bordering the Arctic Circle, Iceland is home to some of the largest glaciers in Europe. But under the cold surface, the Earth is bursting with heat. Iceland is one of the most geothermally active places on our planet. Geophysicist Anna Wairimu Mwanji has traveled from Kenya, trying to uncover the wonders of Iceland's geothermal power. When you're studying geology, to me, it's like you're in an adventure and you want to unravel what was happening in the past. Iceland sits on the boundary of two tectonic plates that have been shifting apart by two centimeters per year. Over the millennia, this movement has created the geologically significant rift valley known as Thingvaclair. The separation of the plates allows lava to move closer to the Earth's surface, creating numerous volcanoes and geothermal fields, which heat up underground water and steam. Yeah, so Anna is among a selected group of scientists from more than 50 developing countries. They are participating in a geothermal training program at the United Nations University, UNU. They visit geothermal plants and see firsthand their operations in separating steam and water, with the steam used to generate electricity. Einar Gunlafsen from Reykjavik Energy. Then the steam is taken here to this uh, small units here. These are also the separators separating the last remaining so droplets from the steam. After that, the, the steam is dry and can be used directly into the turbines. Geothermal energy accounts for roughly 26% of Iceland's electricity production. Most of it is used to power heavy industries. Hot geothermal water, too, is a significant source of energy transported in pipes to towns and cities such as the capital Reykjavik. Heated at 73 degrees Celsius, hot water flows directly from taps. It is used to heat 90% of Iceland's homes, including the one Anna shares with fellow classmates. In the town of Queragerdi, creative use of geothermal water has led to new businesses, such as this geothermal restaurant. Oliver Renison is the owner. This is the earth cooking, geothermal cooking. This is 170 Celsius hot power. And here we are doing uh, baking potatoes. Usually in the oven, you use a lot of heat and long time here, only 20 minutes. The water, believed to have health benefits, is also used to fill Iceland's popular hot pools. The Blue Lagoon, Iceland's famous therapeutic spa, uses geothermal water directly from a nearby power plant. It's very important to expand the use of renewables, and especially in the developing countries, because that is where most of the uh, increment in energy use will be. Ingvar Friedelifsen is the director of the UNU Geothermal Training Program based in Reykjavik. This program has already trained more than 500 scientists and engineers from countries around the world with geothermal potential, like Kenya. I think geothermal is the future. It is a resource that is renewable. And it's a clean energy. We don't have to pollute. It is one of the ways of securing our energy for the future. This report was produced by Louis Petron for the United Nations.